Well, welcome back into the Norfolk Cottage Garden. We're into the final week of December now. And this is always one of my favourite times of year for looking forward towards the approaching spring. The shortest days passed, starting to get a little more light every day. And the first sign of spring is starting to come through the leaf mould here under the oak tree on the side border. The closer you look, the more you actually find. Just look at this lovely protrusion of upward spikes for the young narcissi in this bank. And all along this long border we have little pots of tete -a -tete and February gold narcissi, which are already starting to come through in the green. But it's not just the spring early flowering bulbs that bring this border back into life in spring. These are clumps of our English native Primula, little pale yellow flower with a white centre, which if it gets going forms these lovely protrusion clumps. And it will seed quite openly into the surrounding ground. You can see little smaller plants spreading out from this one and the very young plants which will come on and maybe even flower this year. And all you need to do with these is protect them and give them a little bit of mulch. Now that you can see where the plants are coming, just to mulch around them to knock the weeds back and they'll flower beautifully in early spring. In fact, if I take you down the dell, I've got a few of these coming into early flower. Here we are down in the much more sheltered area of the garden. It's almost semi-woodland here under these fruit and flowering trees. These primulas are coming on even at this stage in December. Just look at the profusion of bulbs still to come on under this young pear tree. I think these primulas flower this early really because of the shelter they get here from the west facing wall behind them. And although they don't get much in the way of sunlight to warm the soil, just having that little bit of protection from the cold winds behind them really allow them to come on probably two to three months before the main flowering bulk in the rest of the garden. This whole area under the mature beech tree is full of snowdrops. Probably been here for hundreds of years and every year they come up. Various varieties here so the flowering period is quite extensive. We'll start getting some colour as early as late December and certainly through January these will come through and continue flowering for most of February and March. They do very well here. They give an absolutely beautiful display. It's really ideal habitat for them here. Dappled shade with a heavy leaf mulch on top. They like it. It's ideal. The amount of rain we've had dropped here over the last 24 to 48 hours is quite considerable. I haven't seen this section of the garden waterlogged like this for about three years. And it's the part that feeds down naturally into the sinkhole, which is our seasonal pond at the very bottom. And I'll show you that now. Here we are for most of the year. This is uh, about an inch and a half of water and a muddy bottom. Again, for the last two to three years, we've just not seen any accumulation of water on this. But this year, it's overtopped at the back and is going into the drainage ditch that feeds back down through the drainage systems into the River Bure. And that's the most water we've seen held in this pond for three to four years now. Hopefully give the more heads and ducks that love nesting on this and a little bit of branch that's blown over into the centre I've left now for two years. And there's a moorhen nest built on that every year, beginning of the season. Unfortunately, by the time she hatches them out, she's usually on a pool of mud, uh, which allows the foxes access, but she's raised a couple of broods, and it certainly protects her from this girl. It doesn't like the cold water very much, do you? And it's certainly going to protect them from this thing, who absolutely hates cold water. Don't you, Ted? Yep. So I hope you've enjoyed that little taster first time we've got out in the garden to give you a show i hope 
hopefully starting to get some excitement in terms of what we're going to grow this year and what this spring's going to be like. Something to look forward to, which is always good and the great thing about gardening.